As more people are buying 3D printers, the use of this technology in everyday life is becoming more common. Some use them to print cover plates for switches. Some use them to repair fences for their kids. Some use them to make adapters for exhaust fans. Never mind the countless smartphone stands and cases, as well as figurines of video game and animated movie characters. Let's say you want to buy a 3D printer for home use to try out the new technologies for yourself and your young ones. How do you choose the right model from the several hundred 3D printers available on the market? Today we will tell you about the best budget 3D printers. Such a printer should not cost more than $1,000, which is why we decided to limit our budget to this amount. Out of the resulting list of several dozen models, we picked for you the most popular and reliable 3D printers with the smallest numbers of warranty claims, according to our internal statistics. What we want you to do now is answer a couple of simple questions. Question 1. What are you going to print? If you just want a working tool for household needs, like printing a retainer clip or hanger hook, then you'll hardly ever need high-precision 3D printing. In this case, an FDM printer is a safe bet for you. In lay people's terms, this is a 3D device that prints with plastics, such as ABS or PLA. If you want to print miniature, highly detailed things like souvenirs, figurines, or rings, then stereolithography is the right choice for you. So you'll want to go for a 3D printer that works with photocurable resins using SLA, DLP, or LCD technology. An important point, such devices usually come at a higher cost than FDM printers. That is, they are more expensive to buy, maintain, and get consumables for. Question 2 targets people who have chosen an FDM printer. Will you assemble the printer yourself, or do you need a ready-to-use device? Assembly kits are the more affordable option, but also the most time-consuming. You will have to assemble the device and configure it all by yourself. On the plus side, the experience you get assembling such a printer with your own hands will give you an understanding of its mechanics and principle of operation. Ready-to-use out-of-the-box 3D printers usually come to the buyer in a fully assembled form. Sometimes, though, the manufacturer will disassemble the printer into several large units for reasons of saving space and keeping it safe during transportation. The preparation for your first print run will take you an additional 10 to 20 minutes. FDM Printers Assembly Kits Today, there are more than 10 models of 3D printers manufactured under the brand name ANET. The most popular out of them is ANET A8. This is an affordable alternative to the legendary but not so cheap 3D printer Prusa i3. Despite its low cost, the ANET A8 prints like a charm. There are DIY improvement options for this printer too. On Thingiverse alone, you can find dozens of 3D models for such upgrade projects. The ANET A6, being a slightly more advanced model, also comes in a completely knocked down condition. The Anycubic 4MAX is a large and powerful FDM printer with an enclosed build chamber. One of the key advantages of this device is the unique ultra-based platform, large rigidly fixed and heated. Also available are a system that can protect your print job against power outages and a filament runout sensor. The printer is supplied knockdown and all its parts are replaceable so you can repair and upgrade it without any outside help. The new version of the legendary Prusa i3 3D printer features a rebuilt extruder, making printing more reliable, especially with flexible filaments. Its power panic feature lets you restore printing even if a print failed due to loss of power. The previous filament runout sensor did not work well with clear filaments as optics could not detect them. The new Prusa i3 no longer has this problem. FDM printers ready to use models. Duplicator is an entire line of products manufactured by Wanhao, which undisputedly dominates the market for ready-to-use FDM printers priced up to $1,000. The i3 family includes such popular models as i3 V2.1, Plus, and Mini. The steel frame of these printers features extra high rigidity and never gets loose. The strong heavy base reduces vibrations. These, among other improvements, have been based on the feedback of thousands of users and guarantee quality and stable prints. If you're planning to print larger models, where a side might be between 300 and 500 millimeters, you should consider the Duplicator 9 family of 3D printers. Compact, portable, and easy to use, the Up Mini 2 is a great option for home use as well as for educational settings. 
Among the main features of the popular TierTime 3D printer are an enclosed build chamber and automatic platform calibration for all axes. The Up Mini 2 is equipped with an odor removal system, yet another advantage is the below average noise level. Models can be printed via Wi-Fi or USB. It's one of the few 3D printers where a model can be prepared for printing via a special iOS app. The DaVinci Junior by XYZ Printing is a beginner-friendly 3D printer which boasts some impressive features such as quick-release extruder and automatic filament loading. The printer does not require manual calibration. The only parameter that may occasionally call for adjustment is the height of the extruder. Models can be printed via an SD card or USB. Its key features are an enclosed print chamber and a non-heated build platform. Resin 3D Printers The first budget-friendly resin 3D printers went on sale in early 2017. Today, the most affordable DLP model available on the market is the Wanhao Duplicator 7. This printer delivers stable print results with a minimum layer thickness of just 35 microns. It has been successfully used by jewelers. The 7 Plus version is equipped with a touchscreen and can work without a permanent connection to a PC or laptop. This resin 3D printer by Anycubic offers specs similar to those of Wanhao's DLP printers, but there are differences too. Compared to the duplicators, Photon has a slightly smaller build volume. However, it outperforms them in terms of layer thickness, which can get as small as 25 microns. This feature allows the machine to come quite close to competing with professional equipment. Like the Wanhao Duplicator 7, Anycubic's Photon is pretty undemanding in terms of the choice of consumables. These printers can run just as well on big-name brands as on low-cost in-house produced resins. Want to find out more about low-cost 3D printers for home use or even buy one right now? Just head straight to top3dshop.com. Have more questions? Please leave a comment, call us, or visit our website. Our contact information is in the description below this video. We will help you choose a 3D printer that's best for you. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. See you soon!